Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be going over the new trailer that was released really late last night, so I didn't get around to making a video at the specific time, and a lot of people missed it, so hopefully if you missed it, you guys can check out, I'll leave the link in the description below to the trailer, due to the fact that I'm not going to actually play it at the start because copyright issues, I don't want to have to deal with that, but anyway, so let's talk about this and we're going to be breaking it down shot by shot. The first shot of the trailer is of Brainiac 5 and he is being confronted by Colonel Haley and throughout the trailer we get the voice overlay with Haley and the fact that she's on a mission in order to stop Supergirl. She's trying to find out her identity and she's interrogating everyone around the DEO as it stated in the synopsis that we went over a few days ago and so I think Brainiac is going to sort of lay a few clues but I don't think he's going to totally crack and that's what she's trying to do in this scene and then we go over to Kara's apartment and we're back on the Danvers couch once again. If you watch these videos you know I love these Danvers sister scenes I think we don't get enough of them the absolutely brilliant when we get them. We see Kara and Alex together and Alex in the dialogue is actually saying to Kara that Haley is going you know crazy she's really trying to find out truly who Supergirl is she's on a mission essentially and so the fact that Alex is like actually coming to her means that Haley is going full out and I don't think Haley's actually going to last that long to be honest I feel like she's going to be around for a few more episodes then something's gonna happen she's either gonna leave or she's gonna die or something like that or her persona is gonna change and maybe she's back on Supergirl's side but if you realized how suddenly she has just changed that's mainly due to the fact that I guess it's to do with the writing but it doesn't feel super unnatural because there was always this sense of hatred and this sense of darkness around Haley since we first met her at the start of the season. I'm not a massive fan of her. You know, I think that's going to be resolved pretty quickly, so she's going to be trying to resolve that, and Kara is going to be debating whether she wants to actually give up her identity in order for everyone to stop bugging her. And so moving on to the next shot, we see Supergirl, and Supergirl is outside. She's you know, standing up, so maybe she's just landed or something like that, but anyway, I think this links into a later shot, and so, but moving on to the next shot, this is amazing, Red Daughter is finally returning, I was so happy when I saw this in the trailer, it's really low quality, but you can make out that she's flying and that she's in this Red Daughter suit that we saw prior to this in a few episodes, and she's in the air she's flying she's got that really really nice just sleek suit and she punches a drone so what could this be I think there's two options I think either this is just her training in Russia she's fighting these drones but why would she be destroying a drone that doesn't really make all too much sense why would they do that that's just a waste of material why isn't she fighting you know a person or why isn't she fighting other things so you know, I think there's two ways it could go. I think the other option is this is her finally revealing herself in maybe America and she's taking down these drones or maybe America sent a drone over because they've sent something wrong over there, maybe on satellites or something. But so could this be the moment that Supergirl meets Red Daughter for the very first time? Because they've waited a long while. It's past the mid-season now, we're going into the back half. We are going to have to make that connection very soon because she's only appeared a few times and my theory still is that she's going to take over as the main villain due to Agent Liberty being in prison and I think it's sort of just like the symbolism of what Agent Liberty stands for that this superhuman can come and destroy everything and it's a literal copy of Supergirl so I think she's going to be the main villain but it's like when is she going to properly come but it's great she's appearing I think this could be her actually going into America for the very first time so is she going to meet Supergirl that is the question let me know if you think so in the comments down below moving on we have Supergirl she's most likely in the DEO or she's in a different place I can't entirely tell it looks like the DEO and she's opening the door with her hand so maybe she doesn't have access she's breaking in and this is probably the scene that has been featured in some of those photos that we saw with Haley going around and we know Haley is in the prison in the DEO at one point so maybe 
this is in regards to that but moving on we see outside this is the incident that was talked about in the synopsis the alien attack that was rather disastrous but she actually helped supergirl helped and that is sort of like the root cause for Haley's hatred for her in this episode because she does this and obviously this is deo territory she doesn't want supergirl to interfere so she's going to be a prick about it and she's going to be mad even though supergirl has saved all these people and everyone's going to be like supergirl is a hero but Haley's like no she's taking over deo territory and we know in the synopsis she refuses to leave the site when Haley makes this deo territory and obviously she doesn't work for the deo so she has to leave otherwise legally they could probably try to arrest her if they can yeah it seems like this is the moment where she's actually saving these people as you can see her flying with a army person or like a soldier and so now we move on to the next shot and this is sort of in the middle of the trailer and we see Haley talking to Alex in the DEO and this is part of her interrogation and this is going to be sort of like stringing along throughout the episode as she tries to find out her identity so she'll be going to all these different agents and as far as I know and as far as I can remember because I haven't watched all of like season two and season one for quite a while but I do think some of these people do know that Supergirl and Alex are siblings so I don't know what's going on are they gonna reveal it I've got a feeling she might find out but I don't think Supergirl is going to be revealed to the world. I don't think it's going to be that easy. I think people in the DEO, apart from their closest friends, know that. I'm pretty sure. So I've got a feeling it might be exposed in this episode. And we move on to the next shot and Supergirl's flying in the air in like the desert or something. This could be a reused shot or it could be a new shot. I'm not entirely sure. It looks kind of familiar. And so we move on. We actually see Jean for the first time in this promotional material. We don't really know what's going on with him in this episode, but it's most likely to do with maybe the protest to do with Agent Liberty because he's out in the field, he's just in his normal self, he's in the grass and you can see some houses in the back, so it seems quite suburban, so I think it's something to do with the Children of Liberty or something along those lines, maybe to do with Manchester Black. And so in the next shot after this we see Alex and Alex is all up in her superhero gear and most likely in the DEO. I think a lot of this episode may take place in the DEO because it's mainly centered around Haley and her mission to find out about Supergirl's identity. Then we go back to like normal civilian activity like we can see like a home behind or maybe a school or a church. A little bit hard to sort of pin it down but Supergirl is out there. She's sort of using this face of shock. We see Melissa and obviously Melissa's always great as in what she does as Supergirl so I have no doubt that this is probably a scene where something bad has happened and it's going to be rather shocking in somewhere or another and so I don't exactly know what's happening especially in this next shot because we see inside the DEO it's all smoked up and everything and they're in freaking tactical gear and you see Haley in the middle with all the DEO agents and on the other side or what seems like it's cut to be the other side is Alex and other DEO agents in tactical gear so I believe this could in fact be Red Daughter I would be maybe being too hopeful but I think it's you know maybe a bit of a stretch but like why is the smoke there what's going on has a super villain landed or something like that but also at the same time it's cut to be like this is a standoff between two sides of the DEO, one side with Alex, one with Haley. so we'll have to wait and see, I think it may be a bit misleading, but I think there is going to be sort of like a rooting, like a sort of anger in the DEO in this episode because all these agents are getting interrogated by their boss. And as we end off this trailer, we see Alex in that same shot, but we get to see her properly in this one. And then the final shot of the trailer is of Melissa as Supergirl, and this is in the DEO, and this is, I do believe, the photo that we saw with Alex and Supergirl inside the DEO seeing Haley down locked away so I don't know what is actually going on I think they've done a great job at keeping the ambiguity because I really can't really guess as to what's going on but she looks kind of sad so something has happened and something's gone wrong so that is all I've got for you guys in today's video so anyway guys if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Supergirl videos Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and share this video around 
and also turn on notifications to not miss any videos when Supergirl returns next week. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.